I'm Melanie Gifford. I graduated from Marlboro in 1973, and I now work at the National Gallery of Art in the Scientific Research Department, where I do technical studies of works of art. So I'm part of the Science Department, which is part of the Conservation Department at the National Gallery. And we have a really essential role in sustainability here. We are sustaining the works of art themselves for future generations. And I'm also researching the way the artists made their paintings. That's my personal specialty. And to me, as I dive into a painting and understand the choices that the artist makes, I'm sustaining the connection with the generations that went before us to create these works. What sustains me in my work is the connection with these paintings and the artists who made them. By doing technical work, by understanding how these works were created, there are times when I feel as if I'm looking over the shoulder of the artist and watching the decisions they make from day to day. And this is a deeply emotional connection that sustains me every day. This is a work of art by Peter Paul Rubens that I've been studying for quite a number of years. It's a work that he painted in Italy during his very, the very beginning of his career, and it's often been seen as the opening of the classicizing paintings he painted in the 1610s when he was first successful in Antwerp. I think what Marlborough did for me was to sustain a sense that everything is fodder for my train of thought. It brings together many, many disciplines. I started as a writing and theater major, turned into an art history major, went on to study art conservation. And I bring together science and the history of these paintings all into one place. So what we have here is a paint cross section, which is a microscopic fragment of paint taken from the Rubens painting that we looked at earlier. I think it's really important for Marlborough to be sustained into the future because it's a really unique environment. It's a, a line of study that brings together so many different ways of thinking in one project that makes it really sustainable, that makes the students, people who can work in all sorts of environments, who can tackle new problems unlike anything they've ever seen before. And I think that kind of creative thinking is absolutely essential to the rest of the world. It's ironic that though I work in a science department now, I never actually studied science as an undergraduate at Marlboro. But I think that the training in thinking that I received at Marlboro left that as a perfectly real option so that as I needed to prepare for training in conservation, I was doing chemistry in my spare time while I was an art history graduate student. Marlboro really allows you to think that way. 